Now, I want to talk about another couple ones that are kind of emerging. These are early. We're not really ready to kind of roll these out as success yet, but they look very promising. One of them, Niraj, is the uh, uh, axitinib pembrolizumab combination that Mike Atkins presented. I think this combination, based on the preliminary data which were presented um, uh, uh, in this meeting, the progression-free survival in treatment naive patients, 21 months, with mm. the objective responses of 73 percent, I think that is really uh, raising the bar beyond what we have seen with Checkmate 214 trial and the Emotion 151 trial. So if these data are able to be, are are really replicable in a bigger, uh, once we see the final results and mm -hmm. these kind of, uh, you know, uh, numbers really maintain, are maintained, I think it would be really exciting uh, to see. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't the, uh, there, I think the, the Javelin trial uh, is done, right? That's sunitinib versus axitinib and valumab. Yes. Right? Uh, I don't know when that closed. It wasn't that long ago. So, Brad, do you remember that? Yeah, that's only the Javelin, that's closed in the past couple months. Oh, the past so two to three months. It'll be a while. Too soon. But, too early. I mean, I think to your point, though, from earlier about, you know, synergy toxicity wise, I mean, right. the other impressive data from the Axi Pembro is that it was well tolerated. I mean, grade, yes. three, grade three toxicity is 23% diarrhea, some fatigue, 10%. But again, I mean, we didn't see this exponential increase in toxicity. Exactly. So I think it's very, it has good response and also good tolerability. So I think that combination is definitely going to be interesting going forward. Right, right, right. And then the last combination, Bob, is the one with lenvantinib and nevirolimus in this frontline setting, but then also lenvantinib and pembrolizumab uh, versus sunitinib. Tell us a little bit about that study. Right, so this all is on the heels of the phase two clinical trial where the uh, vatinib evolimus uh, impressive data, um, so much so that they were seeing numbers in progression-free survival and duration response similar to, I mean, actually better than what they were receiving a student on its pivotal phase three clinical trial. Um, so with that enthusiasm, um, it's a three-arm study. It's called the CLEAR clinical trial, um, using sunitinib as the control arm, uh, still at the 50 milligrams a day four weeks on, two weeks off, uh, using the vatinib and everolimus. Uh, vatinib is at 18 milligrams daily, everolimus at five milligrams daily. Again, it's a half dose and it's a typical dose. And then using the vatinib and pembro, just really recognizing that the combination of immunotherapy and TKI therapy is probably the wave of the future. Um, and there is right now breakthrough designation using the combination of Pembro and uh, vatinib. So again, this is gonna be, um, you know, are, are the, is the phase two data real, and then are we not just sort of looking past uh, sunitinib anymore, are we now looking at, you know, is it going to be a combination of two different um, uh, TKI mTOR or TKI IO? And again, it's answering a few questions on one study.